Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In the last video, we looked at how to use average bond enthalpies to calculate the energy change for a chemical reaction. In this video, I'm going to give you two questions to try yourself. I'm showing you here the reaction between hydrogen and chlorine to make hydrogen chloride, and I'm giving you the average bond enthalpies of the chemicals. I'd like you to calculate the enthalpy change of this reaction, so pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, first we need to add together the average bond enthalpies for the reactants. The hydrogen to hydrogen bond has an average bond enthalpy of 436 kilojoules per mole. And the chlorine to chlorine bond has an average bond enthalpy of 242 kilojoules per mole. This means that the total bond enthalpy of the reactants is 678 kilojoules. And remember that we need to give this number a positive sign as breaking chemical bonds is an endothermic process. Looking at the product, the average bond enthalpy of the hydrogen to chlorine bond is 431 kilojoules per mole. However, we've got two of these bonds, so the total bond enthalpy is 862 kilojoules. And we need to give this number a negative sign, as making bonds is exothermic. To calculate the enthalpy change of the whole reaction, we simply add these numbers together. This gives us an enthalpy change of minus 184 kilojoules per mole for this reaction. OK, here's another question for you. This shows the combustion of methane to form carbon dioxide and water. I'd like you to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, we've got four carbon to hydrogen bonds, and each has an average bond enthalpy of 413 kilojoules per mole. Multiplying this by four gives us an enthalpy of 1,652 kilojoules. We've got two oxygen to oxygen double bonds, and each double bond has an average bond enthalpy of 498 kilojoules per mole. Multiplying this by two gives us an enthalpy of 996 kilojoules. Adding these together gives us a total bond enthalpy of 2,648 kilojoules for the reactants. And remember that this is a positive number as breaking bond is endothermic. Looking at the product, we've got two carbon to oxygen double bonds, and these have an average bond enthalpy of 805 kilojoules per mole. Multiplying this by two gives us a value of 1,610 kilojoules. We've got four oxygen to hydrogen bonds. These have an average bond enthalpy of 463 kilojoules per mole. Multiplying this by four gives us a value of 1,852 kilojoules. Adding these together gives us a total bond enthalpy of 3,462 kilojoules for the products. And remember that this is a negative number as making bonds is exothermic. To calculate the enthalpy change for the whole reaction, we simply add these numbers together. This gives us an enthalpy change of minus 814 kilojoules per mole. OK, so hopefully now you can use average bond enthalpies to calculate the enthalpy change of a reaction. 